Hey, people said, you know, give me more content. Give me a second here. This is this is weird. This is just very weird. All right. One second here. Whew, cold. I can get my gloves back on. I have an issue with gloves. All right. <laughs> hey, Darren. So, <clears throat> this is, without a doubt, at present time in my trapping career, probably one of the strangest things I have ever caught or potentially even seen. Um, I just, uh, <laughs> I'm a little beside myself. All right. So I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you the scene or the view that I just seen as I come pulling up to check my sets. So I got set over here, um, like it was worked potentially by this critter, um, but I'm pulling up and I see, so I got this huge blown out dirt hole over here that I've caught coons, fox, coyotes, um, possums. That thing's caught uh, a whole bunch of stuff this year. And it's just a huge, huge dirt hole, right? Um, it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty hot one. Um, but anyway, so as I pull up, this is what I do. I drive by. Okay. What the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, seriously. What is this thing? Really? Wow. So, again, you know, I'm down here in... Uh, uh, southern Michigan, and we've had our bout of uh, mange, mites, lice, freaking shoulder mite, whatever you want to call this stuff. You know what I mean? There's definitely uh, some stuff going on. In fact, I caught a possum earlier today that had mange. So not even the possums are safe. Um, but what is this thing, man? So... I believe what we have here, and I don't really want to touch it. So it was dead. Um, when I pulled up, this thing was dead. Um, I believe what we have is a young coyote, possibly fox, um, has absolutely no guard hair that I can see on its entire body, right? So I don't think that that is mange. It's too consistent. You know what I mean? It's too consistent across its entire body. Um, <laughs> so um, I've never seen anything like it, nor have I ever caught this small of a canine. That's why I'm thinking it's possibly fox. Um, what the heck? Right? Deep catch. It's all cotton. Wow, weird. It doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell. If you've caught canines with a, uh, with a mite or a lice or whatever, a mange, they smell. They got a very funky odor to them this has no smell it's weird i don't know what to do 
<laughs> Walter. <laughs> Chupacabra it is. I don't know what to do, guys. Strange. Strange. I don't see nothing creepy crawly on it. Weird. Freaking strange. It's whole body. Let's go back. Eat it? <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. All right, let's go back. Look at this. Right? See if you can see it any better. Albino fox? I don't know. It has no guard. The thing is, it has no guard hair. So so, so it's definitely something, right? Um, maybe, or I don't know if it'd be like early stages of mange, but it's no guard hair on its entire body. Now, so we got dumped on last night with uh with rain so we got all the, we got a lot of rain um so here's what i guess is running through my head so this thing with no guard hair um probably hypothermia did it in um but why has it got no guard hair like that coyote fox I don't know. You know what I what I should do? I don't want to touch it. What I should do is put it in a tote and give it to the DNR. Because the strange thing that's been going on around here. So if this is diseased, which I'm pretty, cer pretty certain um, it's diseased. Um, maybe I should give it to them and let them figure it out. Um, in fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. Man, what a strange critter. All right. Here, you guys can see me take this thing out. Here's another close look at it again. Look at this thing. Nasty. Nasty. All right. So, I'll see if I can just set my camera. Kind of right there. Right there, I take it up. All right. All right. What the heck is that?
All right, so. <laughs> anyways. Anyways, uh, I, I do believe it's a mange of some sort. Um, I do see. Oh, I do see a, uh, like a bite hole or something. Oh so yeah, it could be a, it could be a coyote pop, but I think it's probably fox. I'm guessing. I'm just guessing. Because there's some, uh, like a orange tint in some of the hair on its head. But, uh, I don't know. I think I'll just throw it in the ditch. Because I don't really want anything to do with it. But, man, that's number, that's the ninth. So I did that video yesterday with number eight. This is number nine. Um. Uh, it's terrible, man. This stuff is absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, the more I look at it, I definitely think it's a fox um, with mange, but I don't know why it's not down to the uh, the skin. I don't know. I don't know. But nuclear plant near. Uh, well. Um, there is a landfill, <laughs> not, not too far, maybe that's what's doing it, I don't know, it's strange, it's been a strange year out here, about time to pull traps, I'm definitely not kneeling down right there anytime soon, um, but, so, anyways, <laughs> um, just thought I'd bring you in, that was this, one of the strangest looking ones I've drove up to, um, being being dead like it was but yeah so they, they, they can't even survive a cold night you know what i mean with wind and rain it was windy as heck last night it was windy um you know this mange this, this stuff's terrible um trappers get out there and trap some stuff man we need uh we need everybody we can taking care of uh these sick animals because there's a bunch of them there's definitely a bunch of them, and after I pulled it out of the, right as I was pulling it out of the trap, I, I got that smell that you normally smell on a on a sick canine. That's why I'm definitely thinking it's not like, you know, sometimes you'll catch like, you know, those cotton mink, or you'll catch, you know, you'll catch animals without guard hairs. It's just kind of a mutant, not sick. It's just a mutation. Um, this is sick. Um, I, there's no doubt about it. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> uh, just another one, just another one to get out of the, get out of the, uh, the woods, I guess. So anyways, boy, it's been a shitty season, um, in terms of disease, like I said, man, I've had, so this makes, um, the ninth one out here with the disease, um, one east of here then i had both a coon and this morning i even had a possum with me i didn't think you know anything could affect a possum <laughs> the things are they get oh that's a tough animal but anyways i'm gonna get off um i'm just rambling now so y'all take care we'll keep uh getting rid of them mangy critters take it easy